how do you dispose of the old grass when we when you say for example have have a a yard of that has been overtaken with Bermuda grass or weeds or something less desirable or it's mainly dirt now and what we do is we normally advise in this part of the world anyway what normally takes over a yard any bare spot or even a, just an unhealthy yard is generally overtaken with just common Bermuda grass which is the small bladed stringy grass that, that grows in your flower beds and, and is a general nuisance and what, what the only way to get rid of that it, you cannot take a sod cutter or a weed eater and go in there and just knock knock it down to the dirt that that will not get rid of it you have to spray that area with roundup you go by to home depot where we offered the service uh, you go buy a pump up sprayer and the concentrated roundup you put it in there to the to the recommended dosage you spray that yard and you give it seven to ten days to die in seven to ten days you will know the areas that are that are good and dead and the areas that may need another spraying and then once that area is looks like hay it looks like winter has come uh, then you go in with a sod cutter we offer the service or you can rent a sod cutter from Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that and you it works pretty much just like our harvesters that we get our pallets from. It goes along and cuts about a 12 to 16 inch piece out and it vibrates up underneath it and it leaves you a long strip of, of grass. You can set the depth of it and you can uh, decide how much dirt you want to take. You, we try to take as little as possible and once we do that we uh it, it does leave a lot uh it is an expensive service because there it you have to have the equipment first of all and you have to haul all of that dead grass off and that's one of the main questions is well what do i do with this grass depending on the size of the area if it's a typical yard uh residential area a 40 50 foot lot you you probably can haul it off in three or four tandem axle trailer loads, 14 to 16 foot trailer loads, and you haul that to, uh, to, to if you've, obviously it's better to, if you have land somewhere that it can, it's, it's obviously will all degrade, and so if you could haul, haul it up someplace like that and spread it out rather than taking up landfill space, that's, that's better. That's what we try to do. Uh, you can bag it up in trash bags and put it out by the curb and they will, they will pick it up. It would be an incredible amount of, of trash bags. Uh, and then that is the other option. But if you have a, a relatively large yard, when you get in a half acre and three quarter acre lots, then you get into uh, what we normally do is rent a roll off container where, where you call a trash company and you they they drop off a big metal container out in front on your on your curb and you open up one side of it and you get to your wheelbarrow fulls of the dead grass push it in there and, and dump it in there and that is a lot more economical even though it may cost you a few hundred dollars to rent one of those that you can't it would be too many trailer loads and just uh, an unsightly amount of trash bags to, to, to be able to do that so when you get into larger areas we normally uh, rent a, what they call a roll-off container.